Are you looking for the next place to grab dinner or lunch while you're in St. Louis Park? I got you covered. In this video, I'm going to give you my top five places I love, love, love to eat when I'm in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Hey, this is Matt Adelman with Matthew Adelman Realty. Welcome to St. Louis Park and my dining selection guide for all of you guys. Uh, I love St. Louis Park. It is one of the great cities within the state. Uh, it is just outside of Minneapolis. In fact, it borders Minneapolis. So you're talking five, 10 minutes to get to downtown Minneapolis in most cases. And so, hey, if you don't wanna go into Minneapolis, you don't wanna eat in Minneapolis itself, no problem. St. Louis Park's got you covered. So here's my list. And number one, walk, W-O-K, in the park. Walk in the park is some of the best, 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 best Thai food that you were ever gonna have. I love it, I love it, I love it. My buddy and I, we used to work a few miles from Walk in the Park and we would go at least once a month. Their lunch special is amazing. I would get egg drop soup, I would get a spring roll and I would get the uh, cherry curry or I would get the steak potatoes or I would get pad thai. Uh, it is so good. I find myself still, if I'm at all in St. Louis Park and it's lunchtime and I've got an hour, I'm going. Um, so it is, it's a little restaurant. It's in a little strip mall. Uh, you're gonna kind of miss it if, if you don't know where you're looking. It's a small parking lot. It's a smaller restaurant. So get there ahead of time. Uh, make sure that you get a table. Um, and if if they're packed, so what? Take it to go. It, I guarantee it is gonna be worth it. You are gonna love it. The food is amazing. So uh, walk in the park top-notch awesome place uh if you are not in the mood for thai food uh great and you happen to be in that area even better you're in luck um the best fried chicken place in the state is a place called revival <coughs> revival used to only be in minneapolis and st paul now they have a location in st louis park it is kitty corner to walk in the park uh, and it is amazing revival's fried chicken is hands down like i said it, it's the best that i've ever had I love their Nashville hot chicken. I love their Johnny flap cakes, Johnny cakes, something like that. Their little pancakes that have uh, a little bit of prosciutto or a little bit of ham inside of it with some cheese. Their food is amazing. The mac and cheese is amazing. The greens are amazing. Uh, black eyed peas, like it's all so good. Uh, so you gotta check it out. If, if you can get to the original spot, if you're in Minneapolis or St. Paul, awesome. Uh, give it a shot too, but the one in St. Louis Park is just as good and uh, maybe a little less busy and a little less likely or a little more likely that you'll get in. Uh, so number two on my list is Revival. Number three, um, there's a, a place that I like to go if I just want some good food and a good beer. They happen to have a couple locations throughout the Twin Cities. Um, I'm, I'm lucky one of my best friends is best friends with the owner and a bunch of guys that I went to high, I almost said kids, I'm not a kid anymore. A bunch of guys I went to high school with managed some of these restaurants. Uh, and I'm talking about just, well, they, they call it Minneapolis pizza. So you've got Detroit pizza, you got New York style pizza, you got Chicago pizza, and now we have Minneapolis style pizza. And this is, this place is called Parkway Pizza. Parkway Pizza is awesome. I, I promise, go get pizza. Uh, they take the Minneapolis, Minnesota theme pretty far. They've got a bunch of craft brews, a bunch of really, really great uh, options for you on the beer front as well. Uh, but just, I mean, I, I'm easy. I just want a pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green olives. Maybe, uh, I don't know, so Surrey, uh, a Furious to go with it or Todd the Axeman or, you know, some sort of hoppy IPA just to wash it down. Maybe I want Fulton beer. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, we'll see what I'm in the mood for. Uh, but you, you're not going to go wrong. Their, their pizza is amazing. Uh, their food's amazing. The beer selection's great. Check it out. Parkway Pizza is number three on the list. Number four, number five on the list. I'm going to take you guys to uh, a newer place, a newer part of St. Louis Park. Newish, we'll say in the last 10, 15 years. And that's the West End. The West End is a really big shopping area. Uh, they've got a movie theater and shopping center and high-end fancy places to buy clothes if that's your thing uh but the restaurants are awesome there's two restaurants that we really love uh one if we just want good mexican uh we go to a place called rojo and some of you are going to look at me and roll your eyes well that's not that's not real authentic mexican yeah I, maybe it's not i don't know maybe it's kind of a chain i i don't care i love it it's so good the house specialty i that's all i get 
my wife always gets the chips and queso and some tacos. Uh, maybe we get a margarita or something to go with it. The food is, it's really good. I, you're gonna walk in, if you go to the right side, the bar is huge and open and fun. The margaritas are flowing. Uh, it's great if you go to the left side when you walk in, you're gonna be in the family area and the restaurant. If you go way, way, way to the left side, you're gonna go to the party area. I had my 30th birthday party there. We rented out the space. I uh, got to throw the Gophers bowl game on. I don't who did they play? One of the Texas teams. I think they lost. But my 30th birthday party was there and it was awesome. And friends and family is it just a great experience. I like to do happy hour there in the summer. Uh, they set up tables right out in the patio alongside the, the little parkway. Uh, the food, it's really good. The drinks are great. Chips and salsa. Um, you really can't go wrong. So check out Rojo. Uh, number five on the list, which is also in the West End, it's going to be on the south side of the West End, is a place called Punch Bowl Social. So Punch Bowl, it's it's more of a southern themed restaurant, kind of like Revival. It's, you know, some fried food, some peaches and some Georgia flair. Uh, but Punch Bowl is awesome. It's a huge kids arcade game center. Bowling alleys, uh, foosball games, karaoke rooms, ping pong, bowling. I, they've got all sorts of stuff. Duck pin bowling, I think they have there too. It's You can rent out a bowling lane, order a bunch of food, have a bunch of drinks, uh, play for an hour or two. And then you can, you know, once once you have liquid voice, once you have some, some beers flowing in you and you feel like you know how to sing, uh, we've all been there, right? Go to the karaoke room. It's fun. Uh, it's like this little enclosed space. You can shut the door. Uh, nobody, I mean, people can hear you, but at least they don't see how silly you look and just have fun. We used to do this as a work event. Uh, we'd go with, uh, you know, coworkers and go karaoke it up. We go if, you know, the families around our neighborhood are feeling like going out and, and having a night on the town. Chances are we're going to end up at Punch Bowl and just, you know, play a bunch of, uh, you know, games that typically you could play in your basement, but it's more fun to play at a, a place like that. So the food's great. Um, Punch Bowl is owned by one of the big celebrity chefs. I always blank on his name. I would see, if I saw him, I know him. He's, uh, you know, known for Georgian Southern food. Uh, but it's it's great. It's it's a, a fun time. I, I highly recommend you check it out. <laughs> and last on my list, this is, you know, I, I do this in all the videos. I try to find a place that's maybe not thought of for the greatest food, but it turns out the food's great and it's kind of divey, dive bar-ish sort of. Uh, no offense. I hope they don't take any offense to this, but there's a, a place called Bunny's, uh, which is on uh, Highway 3 down in or County Road 3, uh, right off of Highway 100. And the thing about Bunny's uh, is if you want wings and wings and lots of wings and great wings uh, and cheap beers, um, you can't go wrong. I don't know if they still do this. It's been many, many years since I've closed down a bar, but they used to uh, on the weekends at about midnight, they would roll out a giant taco bar. Uh, so for everybody that had been in there, you know, having some beverages all night, you could uh, take a couple tacos uh, to go before uh, and, you know, have a late night snack. But it was always a fun spot. We go there for the wings. We go there for the beers. We go there for the pull tabs. Uh, I play in a hockey league. St. Louis Park ice rink is only a mile or so away from there. So chances are uh, we're going to end up at Bunny's afterwards. And uh, that's just fine by me. I can reload on on the protein that I need to recover in the form of uh, chicken wings and uh, buffalo sauce. So those are my picks. As always, what did I miss? I know there's a lot of other restaurants in St. Louis Park. There's a lot of fun of places to check out. Uh, what do you like? Leave a comment below. Let me know what, what restaurants do I have to try out next? Um, and uh, what did I get wrong? Which one's on this list? Are you like, I don't know what you're talking about, Matt. That place is not great. But uh, until next time, check out my other city videos. I, I've got lots of tips and tricks and places for you to try throughout the Twin Cities and, and enjoy the restaurant scene that we have here. So take care, everyone. <laughs>